feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Yes. I have a cool thing that happened, <laughs> and I wanted to share it with y'all. Y'all can see the baby chicks going on there. My turkey was in another pen. Uh, of course, I let my animals free range. I just put them up at night. But she had laid like 25 eggs, and she wasn't eating or anything like that. So I took the eggs away from her, you know, so she would come out free range. And, and she did. For one day, she came out. She free ranged, and then she went into this pen and started sitting on the chicken eggs. This this little uh, black hen we call BB. She just kind of joined her about a week ago, and now you know the chicks are following her around and baby, so they're, they're kind of confused about who's mama. But but baby, our baby turkey, is such a good mama. They have 10 babies so far. She came and got in here. There's one. Oh, there's another one way back there in the back. So 11 babies. Oh, there comes one out the front door. There's another one. So they have plenty of babies, and it looks like there's movement back there. Let's see how many they can do. just so cool I had to share these are my giant chickens they are giant splash cochins and he is a black Weimaringer if I'm pronouncing that correct but I took a bunch of their eggs and put them under the turkey when she was sitting on the other chicken eggs and all that a lot of those babies are you know, are these giants that they hatched out so they'll be close to the turkey size thing about it is that as soon as I took some eggs from these guys <laughs> she started sitting and she has about 15 eggs under her too the other hen will go sit right beside her and lay an egg and then she'll just scoop it right under and start taking care of it so I'm about to have plenty of babies. He was blue here, what we call blue. He was in this pen with, uh, that's his daddy, supposedly, when we got him. But uh, he was in there. So one of his babies are over there. And this guy, let me get a good view of him. He's in between. There he comes. There he is. Pretty boy. So if you look closely, the different size ones in there. I hope the sun's not too bright on the camera. But the feather leg ones, like the one laying against the little ramp right there, yeah, he's one of the giant ones. And there is one just like the big rooster walking over there. He's underneath her too. I wish she would move so you could see but a bunch of these are just coachings and uh, just like her and I guess that's hers with the little stripes you know I guess they'll turn black with gold feathers and you see the one sticking out the set out the wing so that's pretty awesome turkey's trying to get these other two out of there get them out of there baby all right guys Oni Ove Ocho means I love in Hebrew. This is not good. I have like a big huge snake hiding in the top of my Chicken coop with all kinds of baby chicks and turkey. And <laughs>
trying to let everybody out right now. I don't know what kind that is. I'm going to try to find that real quick. Living the way you meant for me to live Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace For you, Lord, I'll go for green living Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready to serve. 